Hello everybody, welcome back. It's Stefan from the Contentful Developer Relations team. In one of the last episodes, I showed you how you can enable localization for your projects. But let me tell you something. Localization is not only about languages. It's also about shipping projects and products responsibly. And a big part of the overall internet traffic today is images. So we should always consider to ship as little data as possible because not everybody is on devices like that or like that. And not everybody is on fast Wi-Fi or fast mobile connections. So let me just show you an example project from the last episode and use the images API there. What I want to do now is to improve the project from the localization episode. What we built was a website that could display content in English and German. But let's have a detailed look again. There is a big header image. When I inspect it using the Chrome DevTools, I see that it's 4,912 pixels wide and 3,264 pixels high. And it's also inside of a container that has an overflow hidden with a size of 820 times 250 pixels. The browser has to downscale this image and I'm shipping way too much data to the user. The image in total has a file size of 3 megabytes. I think we can do better here. Let's improve this with the images API. The code that is rendering this part of the site is the following. In this line, you see that the image is linked in a particular entry as an asset. The great thing now is that I don't have to resize it manually and can simply use the images API. So let's head over to the documentation to see how this works. Here we see that there are several options for changing the format, but also for resizing and cropping. Cool. Let's check that out. Okay. I can define an explicit width and height and let the server resize the image. Let's give this a try. Going back to the code, I can now simply add the W and H query parameter. The goal is to ship the perfect fitting image. So let's add W equals 820 and H equals 250 to the image source attribute. Hmm. But now the result is not what I actually expected. The images API now keeps the aspect ratio so that the image has a height of 250 pixels, but the width is not correct and it's messing up this beautiful layout. So how can I fix that? There's also an option that is called fit. Using fit, I can define how the resizing and cropping should be applied. When I now define fit equals fill, I get the result I want. The images API now took the center of the image and cut the rest. By using the F parameter, I can even control what the focus area should be. For example, I can apply F equals top so that the focus area will be, well, on top. I get a completely different result now. But I have to say, I prefer the initial version. So let's change it back. But let's check the final file size now. I have to say, I'm really excited. By just applying a query parameter, we could get down the image size to 88K, 88 kilobyte. Bam, we got from three megabytes down to 88K. I love that. For me, there was no manual work involved and especially for responsive websites and different use cases, this is a huge win. Everything will happen on the server side. So by the time we render the image, it's already in the size we wanted. But let me ask you something. Do you think we can do even better? I think we can. The Images API allows us to also specify a different file format for the images that are stored in Contentful. I can choose between JPEG, PNG and WebP. WebP is a Google image format that is built for the web and it often outperforms JPEG in terms of file size. The problem with WebP though is that it's not cross-browser supported. But I can already use it today with the picture element. So what you see here is this picture element. And it works similar to the video element, which you might already know. The browser goes top to bottom through the source definitions and checks if it understands the given file format. As you see, I added a new query parameter to the source set attribute of the source element to say that I'd like to have the WebP format and also defined the type to be image slash WebP. 
Browsers that understand WebP, like Chrome and Opera, will load the WebP version, whereas other browsers will fall back to the image element that is also inside of the picture element. So let's check the result. Bam! With the WebP version, we decreased the file size again and are now at 30 kilobytes. That's a great achievement! Alright, what I showed you today is how you can save some bytes on the wire using the Contentful Images API. Using this API, there is no need for any resize or cropping workflows. Because if you upload one image to Contentful, you've got a thousand versions out of it. And you can save a lot of data to your users. And this is something I really enjoy. So please share with me when you save any data on the internet. And that's it for today. See you next time.